Hello friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we will discuss phase transition concept. There are two types of phase transitions. First order phase transition and second order phase transition. And both these types of transitions happen under constant temperature and constant pressure. Now let us see few examples for first order phase transition. The examples are ice changes to water or when water changes to ice, water changes to steam or steam changes to water. These are the first order phase transitions. Now I can add one more to them like when solid copper changes into liquid copper that is also an example for first order phase transition. Or if I say the reverse that when liquid copper changes into solid copper that is also first order phase transition. Now all these are called first order phase transition. The reason is that in all these processes, in all these transition processes, either there is a heat energy absorbed in the process or there is a heat energy liberated in the process. We know that when ice changes to water, then ice absorbs an amount of heat to change into water. Similarly, when we see that when water changes into ice, then water liberates an amount of heat to change into ice. And in the same way, water changes into steam, so water needs to absorb a required amount of heat to change into steam. And similarly, when steam goes to water, then it liberates an amount of heat. So in all these processes, there is always either an amount of heat is absorbed in the process or an amount of heat is liberated in the process and these all these phase transition process are called first order phase transitions and what are the second order phase transitions the phase transitions when in the process no heat energy is absorbed or liberated and those are called the second order phase transitions we will see them later now a few points about the first order phase transitions point number one that entropy S changes discontinuously. In first order phase transition, when the transition is taking place, when ice is changing into water or water is changing into ice, in that period, or in that duration, entropy changes discontinuously. This is one of the property for entropy. And entropy is, we know, one of the thermodynamical properties or thermodynamical variable. Now, the second point about first order phase transition is that, what about the volume? Volume also changes discontinuously. in first order phase transition now next point is about Gibbs free energy what happens to Gibbs free energy in first order phase transition we know that Gibbs free energy is one thermodynamic potential energy and it doesn't change discontinuously this is important it doesn't change discontinuously so in first order phase transition entropy changes discontinuously volume changes discontinuously but gives free energy doesn't change discontinuously so these are the three very important points that you must bear in your mind now one thing is that we know what is G. G is equals to H minus TS. We know this and we also know that from here we can derive two relations and the relations are following V equal to del G by del P under constant temperature. 
and the second relation is s equal to entropy equal to negative of del g by del t under constant pressure that means we can say that g gives free energy doesn't change discontinuously in first order phase transitions that means in all these processes g remains constant while the process is happening at the phase transition at the point of phase transition g remains constant it doesn't change discontinuously now we say volume changes discontinuously and what is volume now i can write down volume in terms of rate of change of g with respect to p at constant temperature so i can say that actually del g by del p at constant temperature does it, it changes discontinuously and similarly for entropy since entropy is equal to minus of del g by del t at constant pressure so i can say that this amount minus of del g by del t at constant pressure changes discontinuously in first order phase transition so this changes discontinuously this amount changes discontinuously and this doesn't change discontinuously during first order phase transition now there are standard graphs available for them and i will write them down you may also find in some textbook also temperature and entropy graph during first order phase transition actually this is the entropy time graph and the first order phase transition the phase transition point is given by this line this is called transition point this line is named by transition point that means in this graph when the graph crosses this line that point is actually the duration when the phase is changing okay so this graph is given by s i can also write down minus del g by del t at constant pressure i can write down this part in in place of s well just i have given s so this is actually equal to s it's not a problem so either you write s or you may write minus of del g by del t at constant pressure in some book you may write, find that it is not s it may be given min this part minus del g by del t at constant pressure so that is also the entropy okay so this graph is given by in this manner in this way this is the graph and we can see i'm sorry it is not for entropy it has to change discontinuously the graph is given in this way now this is the right graph so you can see that entropy changes discontinuously previously the entropy was increasing then at the transition point that means actually the situation when the transition is happening when the phase is changing from one state to the other then even if the temperature is not changing and we know the temperature doesn't change when the change is happening when the phase is changing but in that process actually entropy is increasing and that is manifested after some time when again we the temperature is raised but in this process actually there has been a change in entropy and that is why we call that a discontinuous change of entropy so entropy changes discontinuously and this is the graph for discontinuous change under first order and this line is called tp transition point okay now the second graph let us show you for volume now volume temperature now volume i may also write del g by del p at constant temperature so either you write this or you write v it is not a problem 
सो लेट इज राइट डाउन भी एंड इट ऑल्सो चेंजेस डिसकंटिन्यूसली एंड द ग्राफ द स्टैंडर्ड ग्राफ दैट यू विल फाइंड इज दिस नो अगेन यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अ डिसकंटिन्यूस चेंज ऑफ वॉल्यूम विथ टेम्परेचर अंडर फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फेज चेंज एंड वॉट इज द ग्राफ फॉर जी it doesn't change discontinuously and it graphs looks like this so these are the things that you need to remember about first order phase transition now let us see a little bit about the second order phase transition second order and i already told you the second order phase transitions are those transitions when during the transition there is no heat which is being absorbed or there is no heat energy that is being released so that means there is no question of absorption of heat or releasing of heat and this kind of transition is called second order phase transition and these transitions are smooth transitions that means there is no time gap they just smoothly happen now let me tell you now these transitions also happen under constant temperature and pressure so this is must okay now let us see the examples the first famous example of the second order phase transition is that when helium 1 changes to helium 2 liquid helium 1 changes into liquid helium 2 so there is a phase change and that phase change is called the second order phase change and it happens at lambda point it happens at lambda point what is the lambda point lambda point means 2.19 kelvin at this temperature 2.19 kelvin helium 1 changes into helium 2 and this change happens in a smooth way that means as soon as the temperature of the helium 1 becomes 2.19 kelvin simultaneously it changes into helium 2 now it's not like that helium will release a lot of energy or it will absorb amount of energy certain amount of energy and then after it will change into helium 2 no it's not like that it just happens very smoothly okay and second famous example is that ferromagnetic substance changes into paramagnetic substance that is also a second order phase transition ferromagnetic substance changes into paramagnetic substance and this happens at curie point at curie temperature at curie temperature or called curie point and for example we know for iron the curie point is the curie point is tc equal to 1043 kelvin that means if there is you have iron piece and you heat it up as soon as it reaches the temperature of 1043 so previously it was ferromagnetic substance but as soon as it reaches an amount of temperature 1043 it changes into paramagnetic substance and this process is smooth in this process it doesn't mean that we know for first order transition in first order transition when ice changes into water then at that point of changing there is a time gap there is a amount of heat which is absorbed by the ice to change into water but it doesn't it is not like that when iron is changing when ferromagnetic substance changing into paramagnetic substance then you are changing the temperature and as soon as the temperature becomes for iron 1043 it changes into paramagnetic from ferromagnetic to paramagnetic and at that point it just doesn't wait a little it just changes simultaneously so this is one of the best example for second order phase transition also 
now few points now one more thing this is not the melting point for iron remember it's not like that at this temperature it will melt down melting point is a different thing but as soon as it reaches the temperature it becomes from ferromagnetic to paramagnetic now the points about that here we saw for first order phase transition that entropy changes discontinuously but for second order entropy doesn't change discontinuously and here we saw that volume changes discontinuously for second order volume doesn't change discontinuously or we should say doesn't change now i will just show the graphs for second order phase transition the g gives free energy and temperature graph this graph okay first of all let's take entropy and temperature graph and this will look like this now you can see that it doesn't change discontinuously okay now let us see these are the standard graphs v t graph under second order phase transition again you can see the same thing and similarly we see g t graph and you will see like this so these are for second order phase transition and we have already seen for first order phase transition and these are the points that you need to remember thank you